forward, bearing in mind these horrors. Be agents of change. Do not be silent. Do not be intimidated. Together, we can make change.
front of the truck, not behind the truck. Apologies. We'll just form lines in front of the truck. For just a few minutes, we're going to pray, and Mahweed, inshallah, is going to lead the prayer. For everyone else, if you can go on the link trees and sign petitions, we can do some calls to action right now. We can sign the arms and bar the petition. You can also use this time to pray in whatever way that you please, in whatever way you wish. Let's take a moment of silence for all our martyrs. All more than 30,000 people are right now in Palestine. Let's take a moment of silence. Thank you so much for being here. For those who are looking that are not in graves, we have link trees in PYM Toronto and Toronto for Palestine. Instagram pages, we have link trees that will take you to petitions. We have a petition that is over. Demanding that the Canadian government impose an arms embargo, we have a petition that Canada reinstates funding to Lebanon, we, and we have other petitions such as the one to remove the racist refugee camp for Palestinians coming from Gaza. So please go on Instagram, search for PYM Toronto and Toronto for Palestine. Go to the bio, go to the link, and you'll find some petitions. The most important one we have is the petition for an arms embargo. It is at 70,000 signatures and it closes in a few days. I call on you all, please take this moment of silence to do something useful if you're not going to be praying. Thank you. May we find justice for our people. May we find justice for our people. May we find justice for our people. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. As you know, Ramadan is coming up. Ramadan is coming up. Ramadan is 30 days. Muslims fast from dusk till dawn. And it's, um, it's quite important for us to continue to practice this and support our Muslim community. Thank you all very much for sticking around and waiting for us. Okay, it seems like some of our numbers are gone. But that's not going to stop us. That's not going to stop our voices. That's not going to stop our energy. So I ask you again, are you cold? Are you tired? I want to hear every single person's voice. I want all the drummers in front of the truck right here. Anybody who has a drum, anybody who has a drum, I want you in front right here, right now. We're going to do our Gaza chant first. So I'll wait until all the drummers are over here first. Okay. There's more? Bismillah, we have a lot of drummers. Gaza! Gaza! Wait, 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 wait. You have to give the people a chance to be ready on me. Okay, every single person, I want to see your hands up high. Every single person. My cousins, I can see you. Put your hands up high. Okay, now keep your hands up high because we're going to do a Gaza chant. We're going to do four clubs and then chant for Gaza on the drummer's mark.
really difficult for the parents and the grandparents who have all these stories experienced in the Nakba to truly, truly believe that. So when you are all here today, using all your energy, using your soul, using your heart, when we say, in our mill And now once again, because you can all hear me right now, I want to do a little check. For all the Palestinians that are here today, please make some noise! You guys are embarrassing to us because we're so much louder. I said, for all the Palestinians, make some noise! And now, to show you what standing in solidarity truly means, to show you that the people united will truly never be defeated. Watch this. For all the non-Palestinians, make some noise! and master 
suffering of Palestinians across our land. Shame! Shame! Since October, these so-called news media outlets have shown their bias and partially towards Israeli and Canadian state interests, dehumanizing Palestinians, demonizing solidarity with Palestine, and conflating this movement for justice and freedom with anti-Semitism and terror. Shame! Coming out 
when we choose to tell our own Palestinian narrative, we choose to tell our own narrative and the community you hear standing today, you did not only listen, but you also stood by our side, stood by your Palestinian brothers and sisters, and look at the numbers, look at the support we have grown. standing for humanity and we have proven that as a collective we keep us safe and as a collective when we raise our voice and our flag we raise awareness for Gaza and all eyes are on Gaza all eyes are on Palestine and we will continue to stand with Palestine until justice is served until solidarity, until um, unity and liberation <laughs> for our people, inshallah. Takbir! 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 Everyone today, February 17th, is the global march for Rafah, in which we join 44 other countries to demand They cannot continue to use the language of human rights and international law while they continue to fund and provide the weapons being used to slaughter men, women, and children for five months straight. Our second demand is that Canada, the U.S., Germany, and every country that cut funding to UNRWA reinstate that funding because there are millions of Palestinians who are forced to depend on this aid for survival. This is why we must go and make sure we pressure our MPs to reinstate funding to UNRWA. And the one way that we can do this most effectively is by targeting MP Ahmed Hussein who is the Minister of International Development and is responsible for cutting aid to UNRWA. Share! Share! If you go in the link tree on the Instagram page for PYM Toronto and Toronto for Palestine, you will see the link that has templates to pressure our MPs to reinstate funding to UNRWA, to impose an arms embargo and to demand justice and freedom for Palestine. <laughs> Our third and final demand is the demand that we've been making again and again and again and we will continue to make this demand which is that Canada, the US and every country complicit in this genocide must demand an immediate lifting of the siege on Gaza. They must demand an end of Israeli occupation of Palestinian land from the river to the sea. They must demand the immediate release of the over 11,000 Palestinian prisoners that are languishing behind Zionist jails. And they must demand that we respect the international law that dictates that Palestinians have the right to return to their homelands. And so the Palestinians across the refugee camps and in the diaspora will return to Palestine. We promise to keep taking these streets to make sure that all of these demands are met.
planet. But this is not the end. We will continue to build international solidarity to make sure that we are standing in solidarity with everyone that is now standing in solidarity with us. From Palestine to Turtle Island to Sudan to Woo! Congo to Lebanon. So I'm going to ask all the drummers that are here, I'm going to ask you to make some noise with the drums really quickly. I say this, even though in these times we're so focused on what's happening back home, we forget to sometimes, sometimes acknowledge one another and show gratitude and appreciation for one another. So thank you to our drummers and let it be known that it's actually Sunnah during battle times to use the drums. So thank you to our yes. drummers. And on that note, with the drummers, since we're all here right now, we're gonna do our beloved Gessa chant one more time. But this time, we're gonna get every single person involved. So every single person, please put your hands up high and get ready to chant for Gessa as well. Everybody's hands up high, everybody's hands. I know that it's cold. I understand that it's cold, but get yourselves warm with this chant. On the drummer's mark. 